Tal vez hable español. ¿Cómo Español, tal vez. Uh, muy pequeño. Eh, ando buscando para, para guardar documentos, para, para guardar documentos tipo billetera, así. Uh... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we are back with another rack store pickup. This time I was able to find a fragrance that you guys recommended, you had told me that was popping up at Burlington's, and I lucked out, I was able to find it. Scent we are talking about today is Shagaf Oud from Swiss Arabian. I can't wait to dig into this Middle Eastern gem. I know a lot of you guys have talked about how much you love this. This one is kind of hyped within the fragrance community, so this is one I've wanted to try for quite some time. It is hyped and it's something I've been curious about. So what better time than now? Available at my local Burlington. I was able to get it for $24.99. So I am going to test this on skin. Let you guys know what notes I pick up. Just give you my initial first impression thoughts on Shaga Food. And if it's actually 
any good and does it live up to the hype? Let's get into it. Really quickly, guys, I just want to thank each and every one of you. We just hit 13,000 subscribers and I could not be happier. It is an amazing milestone for me. I truly appreciate the support from all of you guys. Everyone who has subscribed to the channel, who has supported me in the two and a half years or so I've been doing this, I am incredibly, incredibly appreciative. I'm humbled and grateful that you guys come back again and again to watch my videos, comment, like, share, the whole nine. So thank you guys. If you stick around till the end of the video, I will be announcing a giveaway. So stick around till the end. I think you guys are gonna like it. So let's get into the video. So we have an interesting looking bottle here. Uh, gold, very reflective and pretty much attention grabbing. Just the bottle alone is out there. It's got these X's here. Um, and then you have, and it's on the cap as well. You have the name of the fragrance on the front. It might be hard to make out because you're getting the camera reflected there, but Chaga Food, Swiss Arabian, and pretty cheap plasticky cap. Let's take a look at the atomizer. Really nice atomizer. And, okay. Wow. Ooh, tickled the nostrils a bit there. Um, definitely smells of rose. I'm maybe even getting a little bit of chocolate in there. It's really powdery in the air. Uh, noticeably so. So yeah, let's see what this does on skin. My skin is tingling a little bit. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Okay. I'm getting some very medicinal oud from this. This is a fragrance that you probably don't want to smell up close immediately. But for you guys, I'm going to do it and see what I get. But yeah, definitely oud. It is medicinal off the skin. It is calming down a bit here. Really no citrus to speak of, nothing fresh or anything to kind of grab your attention up top. I am picking up maybe a, like a rose note. So oud and rose, I, I didn't know that was this type of fragrance. I, for some reason, I thought it was a vanilla fragrance, but I'm not really getting any vanilla, or at least not at the start. Really potent, really sort of present, powerful smelling, but pretty linear. It's not really, doesn't, I shouldn't say linear. I, I think the word I'm looking for is it's not, very complex. I'm definitely getting the oud and the rose, and that's pretty much all I'm getting. It's a little bit woody. It is very strong smelling. So I think this is a fragrance that might not be ideal to smell up close on someone, but sometimes these are the best fragrances from a sillage standpoint. They have a nice scent bubble around the person. As you're walking by someone, they pick up your scent. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the notes really quickly on initial spray. I guess I'm not that impressed, at least not from all the hype. So the notes for Shagaf Oud from Swiss Arabian, top notes are saffron, mid notes are agarwood and rose, and the base notes are agarwood, praline, and vanilla. So what's funny is I'm not really picking up what I recognize as saffron at the top, and it's the only note listed. And the other thing I'm not really picking up, you would... I would imagine maybe some sweetness from the praline, the vanilla. It's not a particularly sweet scent either on me. I would imagine more of a sweeter tone with those base notes. Obviously, I'm going to give it a little time to dry here and see if it changes, but pretty much all I'm picking up is that woody medicinal oud and that rose note, and that's pretty much it. So I have other fragrances, actually other Middle Eastern fragrances in my collection, that do something similar, but they are much better than this. My personal impression of it, at least my first impression of it, is that it's nothing really special. It's nothing spectacular. It's kind of one-dimensional, I guess, is, a, is the best way to describe it. And this is not going to be for everyone. So I'd be really curious to see what type of performance I get out of this, longevity, 
I'm obviously going to test it out. I'll talk more about it in my weekly ways video, which drops every single Monday, but a few moments later. So as this is drying down a little bit on my skin, there are a, a little bit more ambery sort of notes coming out a little bit sweeter, which is making it a little less one dimensional of a fragrance. So it's not my favorite. As I said, it's something that I have other fragrances in my collection that smell similar, but are better. They're a little more dynamic, a little more higher quality, although they aren't very expensive. And maybe I should do a comparison video with this and a couple of those others, but yeah. So overall, it's not a terrible scent. It doesn't smell bad. It's just not really something I would find myself reaching for that often, but it is getting better from initial spray. So as I said, I think this is one that just needs time, has kind of a harsh opening in that it's very medicinal smelling and just might need a little bit of time to sort of lighten up a little bit off of the skin. But yeah, overall, not my favorite, but I think you definitely have to like rose. You definitely have to like oud. Just first impressions, uh, I'm not that impressed with this one. Shaga Food, Swiss Arabian, would love to know what you guys think of it. As I said at the beginning of the video, guys, I wanna do a giveaway for hitting 13,000 subs. So I will leave the official rules in the description box down below. I can tell you for certain it's gonna be like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop some type of comment in the comment section down below. But all the official rules will be down below. The fragrance that I want to give away is To Me Unwind. I was able to find this at a rack store myself. Really good fragrance. So would love to give a bottle away to you guys. 13K. Again, thank you guys so much. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. <music>